Right guys, welcome back to episode 6 of Making Munich Blue and we are in the quarter-final of the Pokal against Hertha Berlin, which is a Bundesliga team. I've just checked they are 11th in the Bundesliga, so right about mid-table. I'm hoping we start well. They are playing a three at the back formation too. I'm just hoping that we can take our chances when they come because no doubt we'll create them, right? We're like 20 points clear at the top of the league now. It's ridiculous, but we are. Because teams below us keep dropping points. We're the only consistent team in the league, which is uh, which is brilliant. That is a fantastic... Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we need to do. Take chances like that. What a pass by Neudecker. What a finish by Petkoff. What a team we are, to be honest. I, I need to cancel as well, quickly. Because I did the... Uh, I did the team talk and it didn't work right. All right, they've got a throw in. Don't let them hit back straight away. No, no. Ah, oh, it was short lived. It was a short lived lead. Literally, not even a minute, was it? Was it even a minute? Oh, oh well. Oh well. Let's see, let's see. Don't know what's going on here, but hey, I like it. I like it. I love it. Stout. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Bang. Weird pass, but we take it. Bang. One touch. One touch. Two touch. Smash. Oh, yes. Like Churchill the dog. Oh, yes. Two shots, two goals. 1860 Munich are on fire. Can we get a third as if? Imagine. Imagine. Oh. oh I thought that was going to be a goal. I thought that was 3 1. Oh, my God. Please don't give them a goal. Please don't. Hit it. No deck. No deck. Oh. We are playing fantastically here. Fantastically. I'm just a bit worried about their, like, their chances because if they get one, they've got better players than us. So they'll take the chance. That's the worry. That's the worry. Petkov. Petkov. Can you get a penalty for me? Pip. Oh my god! Look how good Maul does this up front! He controls the ball, he holds him off, lays it off, 3 1. Oh my god, the big man up top there. Look, he gets in front of his man, holds it off, sees in Yatov, passes it around the corner. What a signing he's been, by the way. What a signing this man's been. This guy. I've got him on loan, by the way, until next season as well, the end of next season. So he's going to be like. Killing it for us in the Bundesliga too, but look, he scored like one goal every two games in the league. He's so good, and we're three-one up against a Bundesliga team. Like this is no fluke. Now this is this will be, if we manage to win this game, this will be the third Bundesliga team we beat in this season. So it's not a fluke. Frankfurt, Arminia Bielefeld, and if fingers crossed, we can hang on to this. Wow. Wow. Like, let's not count our chickens, but you never know. No, oh, no, don't give the ball to them. Make them kick it long. Please make them kick it long. There we go. Nice. Well done. Well won. Go on, Petkov. Drive into that box, lad. I think that's offside. There's no way we scored again. Oh. <gasps> He's going on. What is happening? <laughs> I thought it was offside. It isn't. Petkov. Oh. <laughs> I nearly swore as well. I nearly swore. I didn't, but I nearly did. Oh, no. Oh, thank God I didn't miss. Whew. Half time at 4 1 if we can keep this. Please, 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 please. Come on. Don't give him a goal now. Oh, my God. Um, do we stay focused? I think we say tell them to stay focused. I know that's like, I should say we're pleased, but 
Oh wow. I can't I'm just so surprised. I'm just so so surprised what's going on. They've run the ball back again. I think they've gotten a bit more attacking, like a bit more pressing now, right? A bit further up the pitch. I'm pretty sure they have, but I don't know if it's gonna help them. Because we've got some good players, man, that are just knocking it around, look. Got some very good players. I don't know where we go from here though. Inside, nice. Stoud to Mull to Petkov. He's through. Stoud! Oh! We're creating so many chances here. I'm pretty sure this is Hertha Berlin's first team as well. I don't know if you're a Hertha Berlin fan here, but I'm sure these are Hertha Berlin's starting team. I don't think these are backups that they've got. I'm almost certain they're not. It looks like it's us again. <gasps> Five what? Feed the moulders and he will score. What a cross. Big header. Bang. Take that. Silence them. The crowd is silenced with 5-1 up. 5-1 up. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what I'm seeing. I don't even know what I am seeing. I, I just... I, I don't want to take anyone off because they're playing so well. 5-1. I'm just speechless. Like, I am just speechless, guys. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I thought we had an outside chance, right? I thought, yeah, maybe we could win this game. But I didn't think this. There's no way we get six. Oh, he's off. He's off. Let me make some subs just because, like, just for some... Uh, I'm going to take Mulders off because... He'll be. Uh, he'll have a bit of a breather for next game. Uh, Ignatov as well can come off for Dressel and Tabunic. Uh, mm, yeah, do that. Do that. They're down to ten men now, but it, the damage is already done. And what a what a win that is! What a win that is! By the way, just before the game finishes, we have got one point seven one million. Uh, the reason why we've got one point seven one million is because I have. Ask for the facilities to be upgraded, and they have. So the facilities have been upgraded, both those training and new facilities. Um, started on February, so literally a month ago. We had a lot of money, but that's why. But I wanted, I wanted to check is, after this game, see how much money we make from this game. So 1.7 million. See how much we get. See what it jumps up to. The second part of this video, guys, by the way, will be the intake. So it won't be a game, it'll be an intake. We're going to like... Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna what, read the intake message. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it on live live on the video, and then you guys can see at the same time as me. Yeah. Wow. What? Wow. So we got 1.2 million prize money. So 1.7 to 3.5. So we actually got 1.8 million from that. So 1.2 from the actual game and 600k from uh, gate receipts. Basically paid for our upgrades. Wow. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Guys, I'll show you the league quick before we go to the second part of the video. Um, as you can see, we're just the best team by far. 21 points clear. Uh, Kaiserslautern and Duisburg have just been dropping points. Left, right and centre. Uh, look, they've lost the last two. The, these guys lost three before they've just won one. And uh, yeah, we're just very, very consistent. So we're going to be promoted. Six point, six games left. Um, and we're 20 point, 21 points clear. So I, I'm pretty sure... Sorry, no, there's 10 games left because it's 20, 20, uh, 20 teams. I thought there was 18 teams. Now there's 20. Sorry, so there's 10 games left. 21 points clear. And I'll be back for the second part of the video in a second. So it's not the intake, guys, but we just won the game after the poor car that you guys have just seen, and we got promotion. Uh, we beat S... Uh, was it... Was it what was their name? Verl? Is it Verl? Yeah, SC Verl, 2-0. Um, and we're just on a massive roll. Look at us. There's, no one can stop us. And we've got our budgets for next season. So I'm going to have a look at that in a second with you guys, and then we're going to go back again. And next time, it will be 
the intake, like I promised. So yeah, we won 13 games in a row. We've only considered what? Four goals in that time. Let's see how much we get. 596k with 105 per week. So how much is that? We've actually got 50,000 per week on wages, which is massive because we can do loans and free transfers. So that's pretty good, right? I'll take that. We'll take that. Right. Sorry for that, guys. Quick little update. When things happen, I need to show you guys, right? So, yeah, we'll get to the intake next, and I'll be back in a minute. How are you doing, guys? We have got the intake here now. I don't think it's going to be any good. We'll see. I don't think we're going to get any good players. Um, I've been consistently told this season by the board that we can't upgrade things. Um, the training facilities and the youth facilities, they've allowed to do it because it obviously costs money, and we had enough money. But for some reason, they keep... Uh, they keep rejecting this. These two things at the bottom. Junior coaching and youth recruitment. I don't know why they are doing it. Um, I'm going to keep asking, obviously. And hopefully by the end of the season, when we get up to the second division, we can uh, ask again and, and get it approved for next intake. But let's get into the intake. And let's see if there's any players. Like I said, I'm not going to hold my breath. We'll see. We're probably going to have to be using signings and uh, and, and uh, permanents and loans for the next couple of seasons. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at our uh, intake. Oof, yeah, shocking. Looks like a Greek, a Greek, uh, German guy there, yeah. Oh, shocking. So, yeah, the best player is a four star player, Ilias Magnisalis. Um, are these guys are even worth looking at, really. Hey, it's a poor one, isn't it? Really poor one. Really, really poor. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. Also, I don't think I'm going to sign any of them up. I might sign him up. Just, just uh, He says it's a five-star. It's a terrific group of players, apparently. Not sure where they're looking. Um, Manfred Paul is our head of youth. He's quite good at it as well. He's quite a decent head of youth. 18 working with youngsters, 15, 17 in the uh, judging player categories. Uh, fairly professional, and his rep's not too bad. I expected him to do better than that, to be honest. But... So it is. If we can, uh, if we can upgrade our head of youth uh, at the end of the season, we'll do that. And we've also got Bayern Munich in the semi-final, so we've got a Munich derby in the semi-final of the Pokal. So next episode will be um, a first game against Bayern Munich, and then I'll probably play against uh, who should we play against the next game? Uh, just Duisburg, du Duisburg, straight away Duisburg. I keep saying it wrong. Apologies. I uh, will play against Bayern Munich and those guys. Those guys there, beginning with D. Uh, next next episode so yeah thank you for watching guys i appreciate you viewing it i appreciate you subscribing i appreciate you watching the videos and liking it please leave a comment as well it helps me out a lot unfortunately the second part of the video wasn't as promising because the intake wasn't very good but the first part with a 5-1 win against hertha berlin it was fantastic and we are now up to 3.4 million in the bank Oh, shocking. Yeah, that is bad. That's a bad intake, isn't it? Probably the worst one I've ever had, I think. Some mental second nationalities, though. In Germany, you do tend to get a lot, don't you? But yeah, sorry, I'm rambling on. Apologies. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.